requested to do this tutorial. It's actually very pinup inspired, um, but it's just like the staple look of the 1950s, I would say. So I hope you guys enjoy this look um, and this tutorial. I know it's something different. I think it's perfect for if you're going to like a 50s themed party or like a decades party or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoy the look and if you want to know how to do this, then just keep watching. So starting out with some concealer, this is Bourjois Healthy Mix, which looks like that. And I have it in the shade medium and I'm just going to pop this, this is like almost empty, but I'm just going to pop this under my eyes and any blemishes that I have. All my tutorials start off the same way. <laughs> we'll save you another step. Just put a tiny bit more on your lids. Not too, okay, that's probably too much. Yep, that was way too much. <laughs> um, sorry guys, I just don't have a very good mirror with me right now. But the good thing about this um, concealer, and so I've heard the foundation as well, if you put too much on, it just like blends so nicely into the skin and it almost kind of melts. So it's not like a big deal if, you know, you use a bit too much. Now I'm taking Sarah G's oil-free foundation and this is in the shade Wheat. I don't know if that's backwards. I don't think so. Um, and I'm just gonna use my hands to apply this. And now to mattify that even further, I'm going to set it with powder. And this is um, the FYF Mineral Loose Powder. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and just blend that into the skin. Just so that we look pretty matte all day. This is probably getting all over my black pants, but Okay, now I'm gonna define my brows. For this, you're gonna need a um, like angled brush and a matte brown. This is the Body Shop's Boho Beauty Palette and it's the one I always use for my brows, so. You can use whatever you want and whatever kind of fits your hair color. Don't bark, don't bark, okay? I'm also going to use a bronzer. This is the Body Shop's Honey Bronze or bronzing powder from the Honey Bronze collection and a contouring brush. And I'm just gonna define my, this is just a step that I always do, like no matter what makeup I'm doing. Cause I like the, I like bronzer first of all and then I like the kind of um, defined cheekbone kind of look. So doing that. Plus I need to match my face up to my body cause my body is so much darker than my face. <laughs> I'm using my Sedona Lace 88 Warm Palette and um, I'm just using this because it's got a bunch of neutrals in. So you can use any neutral colors that you want. I am going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm actually going to go in with something really, really matte and light, this shade right here. So it's just like a skin color and it's matte. And I'm gonna pop that all over my lid. Sorry, Albie keeps barking, but he's just cranky because he can hear the rain, so he thinks, and he can hear neighbors like moving around outside. I'm taking an angled brush, and I'm gonna go in with, um, I think this one. This is just a matte, can you see that? It's a matte light brown. Similar to the one that I just put on my, my brows, actually. And I'm just gonna put that up into the crease. Like that. Now we're gonna blend that out with a fluffy blending brush. Just to kind of soften it a little bit. We're gonna take a shimmery color right now. This one here. Um, I don't know if you can see the colors really that well, but it's just like a shimmery, like vanilla color. And this is the only shimmer color we're using and I'm just gonna put it up here with the flat eyeshadow brush onto the brow bone and a little bit in the inner corner just to like really brighten up the eye. 
See that? I'm using this graffiti eyeliner pen by Ico. It's actually really cool. They sent this to me recently. Um, I love the packaging on it. It's really cute. And it's one of those markers, so it's so easy to use. That's what it looks like. And this stays on all day. Like, I was really impressed with this because I didn't really have high hopes for it that much. I didn't really... I've never used any of Ico's, like, real makeup before. I've used, like, um, the Ico... This thingy right here. But I haven't ever used, like, their kind of makeup before. So, I'm actually impressed with this. So, what we're gonna do... Is pray that we don't mess it up because I can never do this on camera for some reason. But anyways, I'm gonna start like this and do a thin line. You don't want anything really thick or dramatic for this look. So, a thin line. And go in here. You can see that. And then kind of join them up in the middle. That's usually where I mess up. Like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of this on the lower lash line right here. So you're not going into the waterline, you're just keeping it outside. Then from below, we're just gonna bring it up like this. And then join that with the top, like that. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does to me. So just do it slowly, don't kind of rush it or anything. I hope I'm even on both sides, I think I am. Yeah, and then what I like to do is just, with my little fingers, I just like to wipe it upwards. I don't know why, I just feel like that makes a difference, maybe it doesn't. Now, I have a bright red and a bright pink, and this is by Ico as well. It's the Glossy Lip Pen, Liptastic. Um, and it basically looks like a crayon. It's really cool actually, like that. And then we're gonna use the red one today, but you could use pink as well if you wanted to. Um, it's just, it's your personal taste or what you're wearing that day as well. So first I'm gonna use this um, lip pencil by Viva Color Last, and this is in red. So it looks like this. And I'm just gonna use that, I'm actually gonna blunt it a little bit because it's a bit too sharp. Um, and I'm just going to use that to line Now I'm just going to fill them in And that's going to help your lipstick last all day The Ico Lip Glossy Lip Pen The red one That one And this, these are so easy to use I just apply it All over This is showing up like super bright on camera, but it's actually just a very, it's a true red. I'm gonna use this one by MAC. It is just a neutral, it's earth to earth blush. And it's kind of like a plummy shade, so it's very neutral. to liven up the cheeks a little bit because right now I think I look a bit dead. Now to finish it off, I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm just using my CoverGirl Lash Blast. Um, oh yeah, and some person keeps leaving me comments saying that I've used the same um, mascara for like the last year or so. Um, no, <laughs> I have quite a few. Here we go. So, no, I haven't actually la used the same mascara for the last year. <laughs> I have a lot of friends in the US who send, who are kind enough to send them to me. So, but this girl, like, um, was leaving comments on, like, every single video telling me that I was using the same one. But, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. So, I'm just going to define the lashes. Um, and I'm going to do top and bottom. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit more on top. So that's the entire look done. It's just a very fresh, pinup inspired look. You can see it's just got like a simple winged liner, 
uh, red, like super red lip, um, pretty neutral face, and um, not too much eyeshadow or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to check out pictures on my blog because I'll have a few up there. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.